This particular story doesn't have anything directly to do with children, but it's a couple things that I talk about all the time. Two things. Hashtag, which is AFC famous hashtag, when you date thugs, you date death. Another one that we have as a playlist on my channel is called Funeral Home Foolery. So this is going to be on Funeral Home Foolery, even though the funeral home didn't do anything, but it happened at a funeral home. I want to talk about this because, again, we're talking about this thug mentality and luckily no kids were involved, but a tragic story. I just want to tell this story, so I hope y'all don't mind. Let me give you a disclaimer. Some viewers may find the following content offensive and controversial. The information in this video comes from multiple sources, including court records, official police charges, news web articles, and interviews. This video commentary also contains my personal opinions about the facts of this story. The point is to use this story as a cautionary tale in hopes of preventing tragedies like these to children going forward. Viewer discretion is advised. That is your official disclaimer. So I'm getting this particular story. And again, this is not necessarily an AFC related story. Just so y'all know. From WTHR.com. So thank you for the article. Indianapolis. I know a lot of crazy people out there. This fool damn show looks crazy. Remember I told you all about dating thugs? Well, this is what you get when you date thugs, you date death. This is exactly what I mean. A man who shot and killed his ex-wife's new husband. Let's stop right there. I want to make sure y'all sure absorb that. A man shot and killed his ex-wife's new husband. Not only did that, this man shot him in a church parking lot at his ex-wife's mother's funeral. How, how effing crazy is that? She was attending her mother's funeral. This man showed up and killed her new husband because she wanted to move on what is the moral of the story she shouldn't have never dated that fool in the first freaking place not to say that you can't make a mistake but sometimes those mistakes of dating these people who should have never gotten a chance to be intimate with you can cost you that's even a message to my own self we all have to be careful about who we sleeping with and who we date right that fool that y'all saw on the screen right there, that fool, Stephen Lowe, or Stephen Lowe, S-T-E-F-E-N Lowe, L-O-W-E, pled guilty to voluntary manslaughter in the November 5th shooting death of Jermaine Terman at Oasis of Hope Church on East 25th Street. A murder charge was dismissed in the plea agreement. I wish they would have kept the murder charge, but I digress. The shooting devastated the family's other victim and the shooter. Terman's mother, Pamela Grant, is grateful the families avoided reliving the incident during a trial. It's a lot of relief that is all over, said Grant. So I'll never forget, but I'm glad that it's over. Lowe Low showed up at the funeral of his ex-wife's mother and started a fight with Shannon Terman's new husband by the name of Jermaine Terman which is this guy. Witnesses said Lowe went back to his car, then pulled up and pulled out a gun, shooting Jermaine in the chest. With many family members in the courtroom for Lowe sentencing Friday, Deputy Prosecutor Shelby Thornburg read a statement from Shannon, which included, the day that my mother Lisa, jo Lisa Jean's funeral was the most devastating day of my life, why you came to hurt us, I will never understand. My mother loves you, and all she wanted was a great home going, and you ruined that for her and all of us. Lowe's attorney, Brent Osborne, read an apology from his client. And he said, First, first I want to apologize to Mr. Terman's family and my family. I realize I have an anger issue that needs treatment, and since I have taken responsibility for what I did, the primary thing... I will focus on in the future is getting control over my anger issue. 
I'm glad that we were able to avoid the trial and not make Mr. Terman's family and friends relive the terrible events that day. I want to thank the prosecutor, thank the court and Mr. Terman's family for allowing me to to be able to take res uh, proper responsibility for what I did. Again, I'm terribly sorry for what happened. I will spend the rest of my life trying to make myself a better person. Who gives a shit? He's a fucking idiot and a heartless asshole. Grant witnessed her son being killed. She testified at the sentencing, telling Lowe that she hopes one day she'll be able to forgive him, but she holds no animosity for his family. After the judge delivered the 40-year sentence, Grant approached Lowe's mother outside the courtroom and said, Are you his mother? Grant asked. The woman confirmed she was. She said, I'm so sorry, Grant, uh, Grant told Lowe's mother, putting her arm around her. My deepest condolences, responded Lowe's mother. We try to raise our kids the best way we can, said Grant. We do, said Lowe's mother, we do. When they get grown and stuff, I mean, it's out of our hands, and I agree with that. The family, the families deal with a lifetime of grief. Shannon and Jermaine had only been married for three months when he was killed. He was 42 years old and left behind five children. So if they were only together for three months, I'm assuming those five children, since the last man that this woman was with was the dude that killed him, these kids that he has was by somebody else, probably multiple women. Five children at 42 years old. I just want to thank. I just want people to think before they make a decision to pick up a gun and shoot somebody because nobody wins. Let me give you guys a fair usage. I'm going to just let y'all take a look at the news videos. I just thought this was ridiculously crazy. At a funeral. Federal law allows citizens to reproduce, distribute, or exhibit portions of copyrighted motion pictures, videotapes, or video discs under certain circumstances without the authorization of the copyright holder. This is called fair use and is allowed for purposes of criticism, news reporting, teaching, and parody, which doesn't infringe of copyright under 17 U.S.C. 107. I want to read two things that y'all posted in the chat because I like what y'all said. We have one person in the chat that said... If he shot her at the funeral, why did he need a plea agreement? They had lots of evidence, camera, uh, people was there, etc. They need to stop giving plea agreements when they have enough evidence to convict. And I 100% agree with you on that. Also, somebody else said he would have gotten a crime of passion if it went to trial, which is a possibility. It's definitely a possibility. We don't know, but it's a possibility. But let's take a look. One video. We didn't know what was going on at first. Like, I was just trying to get the kids inside. We seen the cops um, come up, running up, and we seen a guy come out running with the baby. And then that's when we heard the baby wasn't breathing. And that is not the right video. Here's the right video. Five Metro police have made an arrest after a deadly shooting outside a funeral service on the northeast side. Yeah, CBS 4's Jesse Wells explains the possible motive that police are investigating tonight. Multiple witnesses told police the suspect shot and killed his ex-wife's new husband here in the parking lot of this church behind me. And court records show there was a long history of domestic issues involving the same suspect prior to the killing. After showing up uninvited to a funeral here at the Oasis of Hope Baptist Church on Saturday, police claim a man named Stephen Lowe shot and killed 42-year-old Alan Germain Terman, seen here with his wife Shannon. Shannon was too busy planning her husband's funeral to talk on camera today, but confirms the funeral on Saturday was being held for her mother. This affidavit explains the suspect is Shannon's ex-husband who allegedly shot her new husband after being asked to leave the funeral. Domestic violence is not just behind closed doors. It bleeds into our community. It makes our community an unsafe place. Kelly McBride with the Domestic Violence Network says it's not uncommon for domestic violence to take place in public locations, in this case, a funeral with multiple eyewitnesses. When a perpetrator of domestic violence decides that they're going to murder their spouse or their ex-spouse, um, or their partner, 
they don't care who else is there. Court records show Shannon and Lowe got divorced in February following several years of domestic abuse, which resulted in criminal charges and a protective order being filed against Lowe. After being arrested a short time after the murder, police say the suspect asked for an attorney and refused to talk about the deadly domestic incident. Well, it's a community issue, right? It does not just affect the, the two people that are in the relationship, but it bleeds into our community. So this is why it's so important as a community issue. We have to get in front of this. We have to talk about domestic violence. Finally, the suspect is being held without bond at the Marion County Jail pending the filing of formal charges. Jesse Wells in prison for the murder of his ex-wife's new husband. Back in 2022, Stephen Lowe drove to an Indianapolis church where his ex-wife was attending a funeral. That's when police say he opened fire, shooting and killing Jermaine. I just thought about something to the person in the chat earlier that said that he might have got a crime of passion. Maybe, maybe not. But think about this. He knew where the funeral was. He drove to the funeral. He got into an, a verbal altercation inside, went outside and got a gun, which he had brought with him, went back inside and shot the man in the chest. That technically could have been premeditated. That could have been first degree murder premeditated. Now that I think about it. Trial or not, I think they should have absolutely have went to get first degree. Determine. It just kind of seeing the journey that this family has had to go on. They're grieving the loss of someone, and then another tragedy comes out of that situation. Uh, this family has been through a lot, and that's, I think, where your, your thoughts immediately go to is just everything that this family has had to endure. This family has been through a lot, and I hope people understand the cost and the toll that violence has on people in our community, and in particular, a family like this. Today, Lowe appeared in court pleading guilty to voluntary manslaughter, invasion of privacy, and illegal gun possession. Now, as part of this plea deal, Lowe is set to spend 40 years in prison. His formal sentencing is scheduled for September 13th. And again, the story doesn't have anything directly to do with children. This is more about funeral home foolery, which is a series on my channel that because this happened at a funeral, absolutely ridiculous. But my bigger point, hashtag when you date thugs, you date death. And this also comes with it. Even though you might move on and get a better man, but this skeleton in the closet, he looks like a skeleton in the face. Like that fool just looks nuts. Looks nuts. And that skeleton in the closet came back to haunt her in a way that she clearly didn't see coming. But nonetheless, that's why I also believe in your white to bear arms, funeral, church. I don't care where I'm at. As long as it's not illegal to have a weapon on me and wherever I'm at, I'm going to have it on me. Let somebody run up on me like I, I would have been prepared to defend myself by the time he walked out and came back in. Oh, I would have been already ready. So I feel bad for that brother that he didn't clearly see that coming or even was able to prepare for it but nonetheless leave a comment in the comment section let me know what you guys think so r.i.p to this brother just a sad situation ladies y'all gotta stop dating these goddamn idiots all right from my heart to yours it's so all i'm asking y'all to do is consider this and do better and speaking past this situation and speaking to somebody else out there that they don't make that same decision okay thank you guys so much for joining us and we'll talk to you guys on the next stream Leave a comment in the comment section. Like, share, and subscribe to the AFC Podcast. All right? Thank you, guys.